Hey everybody, it's Screenwriting Scribe, and today we have a video uh, per one of our subscribers. They wanted us to talk about uh, Fade In Pro, and they wanted us to talk about one of the production features. Now, just so you know, that you will not find the production feature on the free version of the software. You have to buy the, this particular version of the software. This is the, the amount that'll cost you $79.99, plus you have to pay tax, depending where you're at. So we're gonna take a look at tagging window. So let's take a look at this. And you've probably always seen, I already did a little bit uh, right now as well too. So uh, as we look at tagging, so what do you use tagging for? So you can use it to take a look at different things. So as you look at your script, as you can see here, right here I have the name James tagged. And if you look in the, the tag menu right now, it tells you that it's a cast member. So there's an easy way to, to do this and I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, but you can take a look at there's a ton of different ta tag categories. You don't have to use them all in your screenplay, just the ones you want. This is supposed to help you figure out where stuff is at in your script. So for all the different pieces, this is very much a production type of thing. So if you're working with a film crew and stuff like that, you know who, where the background actors are at. You know where the stunts are done, the vehicles, the props, the camera, the special effects, the wardrobe, um, makeup, hair, animals, animal wrangler, music, sound, art department, set to dressing, greenery, special equipment. You can see there's a ton of stuff here. Security, additional labor, visual effects, mechanical effects, miscellaneous notes, script day, unit, sequence, location. I mean, they got everything you want to tag on here, you can tag on here. So um, it's really pretty uh, easy and it's a very verbose system to use. Now you, you can do um, a couple of different things. So if you don't want to show all this stuff, you can unclick what you do not want. Um, so just simply unclick that if we, want, if we don't want half of this, actually we do want cast members because we do have a section that we're doing that for. If you don't want camera, you can just hit okay. And then if we go back up, cool. So, all right. So what it does <clears throat> when you unclick that is it takes away that particular tag. So it doesn't take it away in the tag categories. What it does, it takes away on your, when you do show and you tell it to take away or a click or unclick these things uh, unclicking them takes them out of your script um, clicking them puts them back in your script and you just hit okay and we should see james show back up yep perfect okay good good to know how that works all right so one of the other interesting things about um let's take a look at vehicles and we're just going to hit manage so that was the show button now we're going to look at the manage button so the manage button you have the 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 um tag name which is vehicles and you can change the color here so if you want to change it to a different color, you can do that right there and it'll change the color here for you. Uh, you can uh, show that where that's it in the doc document. You can move up, move down. The other nice thing about managing ta tags as well too is you can add a tag, you can delete a tag, you can load previous tags in, you can save this as a, as a template and stuff like that, or you can reset all the tags. Um, so that's what the manage tags does. So what it does again is it takes care of all sort of the global tag unit. So this is not tagging stuff within your script per se. You're not going through and selecting all the vehicles here. What you're doing is saying, okay, for vehicles, every time I, I add a tag, it's going to be red. So that's what that, this, well, this is what this does. And then, and as you go through the document, you can actually move up and down and it'll show you all the examples of where this tag is at in your document. All right, so let's take a look at cast members. You see, I've already done this with James right now. So you can see James is in here already. Um, tag selected is James. And so what I can do is if we want to add a different character and we want to tag them, let's go take go into the document here. And I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit because I know there's another doc. Aha, Reverend Daniels. Perfect. So I've just highlighted that name and then I can hit tag. And now he is tagged too as a cast member, so he's gonna appear blue, because that's what, um, we can look at that uh, tag, and we can see that that for cast members, it's blue. Uh, and so right now, just this one of Reverend Daniels is uh, tagged right now. So, now you can auto tag Reverend Daniels, and what that'll do, um, this auto tag will take all entries in the character list as cast members. So, if you want to take all the characters lists, all everybody from the character list as cast members, it will automatically take every single every single person or every single every single time you have the cast member or the character come up, it will be tagged in your script. Um, now you may want to do that if you're just wanting to tag all the characters. You may not want to do that. Um, you can do it once per scene. You can do it in all occurrences. For right now, I just wanted to show you what auto tag was, so we're not going to do that. 
So again, we're at Reverend Daniels. Um, and I can tag all of the Reverend Daniels stuff. I can re-tag him as something different. Um, so the one thing I have noticed though, uh, so let's take a look at um, Reverend Daniels. And if I want to untag him, I just hit simply untag. So I made a mistake and boom, he's untagged. Now, the one thing I've noticed doing this is that there's not an untag all. I had to go through, so with James, I've tried to untag all of James. And so that's why you see some of James here, which is tagged and some which is not tagged. Uh, but what I ended up doing with James, so if I go click on James, I can just go to the previous tag and I can untag it. And I can go to the previous tag and I can untag it. I can go to the previous tag and untag it. And you can see what it has, it has done uh, and untags everybody. But as of right now, I'm not entirely sure on how to uh, get rid of all the tags for James unless you, you go through uh, uh, to do that. So you can do those ta tags and it's going to ask you each time um, for whatever group you do, you know, do you want to, you can do an auto tag again, tag everything within the script or just in that particular scene. You can re-tag stuff. So if you make a mistake, you can re-tag it as something different. Um, and so you can also tag all, so you can take all examples of this particular person. So I can take, I can tag all of James. So if I go back to James, I go back to cast members, I select James and I hit tag all. Um, again, I can do it once per scene or all occurrences. And so then we go to, and you can see it started at the bottom and worked its way up. Let's take a look at the top where I've taken care. As you noticed before, I had deleted all the James. Now all the James are highlighted again. So there's tagging. I hope that gives, gives you a good insight. So if you're working on production again and you need to know how to tag stuff, I hope this video was helpful. Well, until the next video, live well and write well.